Today we're going to work on creating the final draft of your personal narrative that we've been working on for almost two weeks now. Um, we won't finish today, but I want to show you how to get started and I need you to get as much done as you can within a reasonable amount of time. I do not want you to work on this for hours today. We'll work on it again tomorrow, but I would like for you to be able to turn it in tomorrow. But I need to show you how to do this. So. My face is not important for this part, so I'm going to go away so I can show you what you're going to be looking for today, okay? So today I want you to go to your Google Classroom, like we always do. I want you to click on your ELA class, which you've already done, or you wouldn't be watching this video. And I want you to look in the Classwork tab. And under Today, you're going to find something that says, Type the final draft of your personal narrative. So when you click on that, it says, watch the video that's what you're doing right now about creating the final draft of your personal narrative it will be very helpful and necessary and then you're going to create the final draft of your paper well I'm here now to show you how to create the final draft of your paper okay so the first thing I'm gonna do you see I'm I'm pretending to be Rhiannon again today is I'm gonna click on this it's, it should have your name at the beginning it should have saved a copy just for you so you're gonna open that up it's gonna open in a brand new tab and then here's what I want you to do. Please pay attention. If you've been in Google Meets, you've done this um, multiple times, but some of you haven't come to the Google Meets, so you may not know. In the top right-hand corner of my screen over here, the X makes everything go away. Don't do that. But click on this where it says Restore Down. If you let your mouse hover there, it's going to make your, your window smaller. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to make my window half the size of my screen. Yours may be a different size, but here's what you need to know. When you move your mouse over, you get this double-sided arrow. You can make this window as big or as small as you want. And I do want it to be about half of my screen. Okay? So now what I'm going to do, I want my Classwork tab to be over here. So I'm going to come up here. I'm not going to click the X. That'll make it go away. I'm going to actually grab the word Classwork. And I'm going to drag this tab over here. Now I have two windows open. I can see two different things at one time. And you're going to want that for today. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is to go back to last week's work. So we're talking about, um, I think, last Tuesday. So that would be the 8th. And you're going to click on planning your personal narrative. Because that's where your paper has been written. And you're going to open that here. I know you've already responded, so click Edit Your Response. And now, this is going to be a little weird because Rhiannon is not here and she has not written her paper. That's okay. Um, you're going to go to where you were writing your actual paper. So here we just described the setting. We're going to keep going. You're going to describe the people. Keep going. Here's where we mapped it out. Keep going. Then we have your title. Well, look at this paper over here. The first thing it says to do is to type your name. So type your name in there. I'm Rhiannon today. And I'm going to put my first and my last name. And then I'm going to put my title. Well, now, when I wrote my paper, it was the seven missing eggs. Whoops. Um, and I'm going to use all the letters instead of, sorry, I couldn't see through my cursor there. Seven missing eggs. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter twice or maybe three times. I want there to be a little space. And I'm going to start typing my paper. Well, over here it says paragraph one, and your answer will be here. So I'm going to pretend this is my first paragraph. You guys read it last time. You know I wrote one. Now, is this my real paragraph? No. But I just want to show you something. I can type all that again over here, or and I know you've done this in other classes, I can use my mouse and I can highlight everything I wrote for my first paragraph and I can use control C to copy. I can click right over here and I can use control V to paste and I don't have to type it all again. Now I can go down to where my second paragraph is. It's going to be your answer. Here's my second paragraph. Highlight the whole thing. Control C to copy, come back to this paper, hit enter to go to the next paragraph, and control V to paste. You want to do this with all of your paragraphs, your introduction, 
your paragraphs, your body paragraphs, two, three, four, five, however many you had, and your conclusion. And you want to get it all on this paper over here. This is your final draft. Now, you'll notice when you copied it over here, it didn't go away. My first paragraph is still written right there. So when you're done, you can still submit this, so we'll still have a copy of your planning. And then we're going to start working over here. Once you've copied everything, you can go back to this box in the top right hand corner and make this paper big again. And then you'll have some space to work. That's the first thing I want you to do. So if I were you, I would pause this video here, go do that, and then come back and watch the rest. Okay. So now you have all of your paper copied and pasted onto your final document. That's magical. Now we need to fix that final document. And there are a few things we need to do to make sure that it's final ready. Okay. So let me go back there and show you what I mean. Let's see. So here we go. We're, we need to pay attention. We need to fix some grammar and spelling mistakes. And fortunately, this program will do this for you. You just have to pay attention. So notice when it says, um, uh, when you write something, sometimes you spell some words wrong. Well, let's look at this. It's got a green line under it. Like maybe it's the wrong word because it actually says writ when you writ sometimes. So we're going to put our cursor over that word and we're going to right click. So if you're using your mouse pad, you're just going to, you're going to click on the edge of the mouse pad, but on the right side. When you do that, it says, consider changing this word to the word right. And if you don't think that's right, then you can ignore it, but I would pay attention. Okay. Second, oh, now we've got a, now we have some, a squiggly line here. Green is often grammar. Red is going to be spelling. So let's go back and see what they say we should do. Second, when, hmm, they're telling me I need a comma here. Second, when I write, and they're correct, we do need a comma there. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to magically put a comma there in a space. Second, when you write, sometimes you spell, hmm, did you mean spell? Why, yes, yes, I did. Some words wrong. Apparently that's not how you spell words. I did mean words. The squiggly lines help you. But you can't just go through and click ignore to make them go away. You have to click through and see what you actually meant to write. So that's the first thing I want you to do. Okay. The second thing I want you to do is go back to the beginning of each paragraph. We need to indent. And when we indent, remember sometimes when you were writing, when you were little, you'd put down two, two fingers on the page and then you'd start your paragraph there. Well, since we're typing, we don't have that. We put our cursor at the beginning of the paragraph. And then if you look on your keyboard, um, on the, almost the top, it's two rows down, right, or I'm sorry, left corner, there's a tab key. And what the tab key does is it moves it over five to six spaces. It indents for you. That's my first paragraph. Well, this is my second paragraph, so I need to indent it too. Okay. We don't indent every sentence. We indent paragraphs. So you should have somewhere between four and six paragraphs. You should only do that four to six times. I do not want you to spend time changing the font size or the color or adding pictures. This is not an email to a friend. This is a final draft of a paper and we do not add those kinds of things here. This is a serious piece of writing. There will be things that we do that you get to express yourself a little bit more. Uh, this, this activity, you're supposed to be expressing yourself in your writing not with memes and not by making it all in bold font. So please don't mess with those things. Okay. So now that you have your paper copied, I want you to go back and look at every single thing that's squiggly lined. I want you to right click, look at your choices. If they offer you the correct choice, choose it. If not, leave the line there so that you and I can talk about it later. Um, and that later will happen tonight and tomorrow as you email me and say, Hey, help. And I'll be happy to help. Okay. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. I still, we're so close. I can't wait to read these papers.